as we are set for our rubber match. Ladies and gentlemen, we are loading up here. Game three of our super matchup. Our HOC promo series winners one rich uh, slaughters and our HOC promo series two winners rich duking it out. Let's take a look at Rich's lineup. We have Gosu playing Frost Cell, JK playing Ooh, Lorelei. TMD playing Scale. Balandis being piloted by Star 0072 and Fire Egg playing Code 2 4 Slaughters. We have Actino. Oh boy. Look who Actino is playing. Balandis. MTS Amazing playing Acritics. Oliver PX playing Frost Cell. Michael Sanchez playing Helm and Tactician X playing Ant. Rich is playing Order. Can Actino can Actino redeem himself after that crucial ultimate in the HOC promo series 2? It's a running joke. We love Actino to death. It's a running joke. We, we, we always love Actino. Actino is my man, yo. But he knows. He knows I'm watching him right now. So... As we got a lot of action going here, Kotun's going to get zoned out. Oh my gosh, a 50-50 pull. Look at that. 50-50. This is a very interesting. That's the best one. 50-50, boys. Wow. Not 50-51. We didn't get 101% this time. I'm at 133, 4, 5, 6. Very cautious. Both teams playing this game extremely cautious right now. Let's go. We have our first team fight there. Lorelai is going to do a little bit of da damage there. Looks like uh, Rich getting the better of this trade. Balandis getting taken down dangerously low. Who's going to be the first one? Hey! Actino with the first blood, but Lorelai takes down Helm. It's a one for one trade. But you know what? Actino got a kill and taking quite a bit of damage. It looks like Scale's going to jump in. He's going to have to blink away. And it looks like for now they're going to be able to walk out of there. Oh man, ouch. That hurt. Fireball OP. Right now. Only kill. The two for one trade there for Rich. Shout out to everybody who came to watch today. Rich is playing Order. Slaughters is playing Chaos right now. There goes the ultimate. Not going to be enough there. It's going to whiff. Scale is going to land the slow, but look at that. Scale in quite a bit of trouble. He's going to get slow. Lorelai's not going to be able to catch up in time. Teleport coming in. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. Now they turn Helm. 
finding himself in a lot of trouble. Looks like Lorelai's going to do a little bit of damage there. But lo and behold, nobody goes down. A small trade advantage in favor of Rich. Baiting out some extra teleports. Now Oliver, both of them just reaching level 6. Both Frost Elves now have their ultimate. 4% HP. And it looks like Oliver is going to be caught out of position. This is not where you want to be. Scale landed the slow. There goes the silence, but it's not going to be enough. Teleport coming in on Oliver. Can they turn the tide of battle? Lorelei has joined the party. Slaughter's getting knocked up. Very dangerous helm having to pop the heel. Can they pull out a miracle kill from this? No, there goes the blink. Lorelei is going to take down Actino. Actino goes down. This is going from bad to worse. Lorelei picking up a double kill. Frussell going down as well. And Rich taking the better yet again. Taking the better trade. I am a new fan of Lorelei. I'm going to be paying attention here to JK and his Lorelei. Like I know they're trying to channel some something here. Which one of our champions, our former cha Oh man, she just missed the ultimate. Now Frostel gonna take a couple of pot shots. Oh, she could he could have kept going, but he didn't do it. She's gonna hide in the bush now. The fireball is going to do quite a bit of damage there. It looks like it's going to take down Oliver. Oh! Just made it back to base with one health. We have some damage here on this train. Rich is going to make quick work of that right now. This is a very good comp for Rich. This is everything could go right for Rich here. Very strong champion pool on the side of Rich. And it looks like we might have some interesting... No, they're not going to chase that. I know for a fact that Rich does not want to have to deal with that. Volandis with the ultimate. There we go, Actino. Redeem yourself. There you go. Nice job. Picking up the kill there. Lorelei. Coming in with the support. That ultimate is cutting them all down. Kotun coming in now. This is going very bad. Helm has to charge away. They all have to disengage rather. Actino is going to be the one caught out there. And he's going to go down. Lorelai picks up the kill. Now they're going even further. A critics running dangerously low. Has to blink away. Nonetheless, we'll find Sanctuary. But look at this. Oliver coming from the back. Take a look right now, 7-3, still not too far, except for the fact that Slaughter's is down, 4,000 gold. Slaughter's is a team that seems to play well from behind, though. There we go, Helm playing again. This is not good, Helm. 
Really not playing for the team. Lorelai is going to absolutely demolish. Rich picks up another kill. 8-3 to three is the score. 9 minutes on the clock. Kotun dives right past the tower. Oliver has to go back. Now Rich find themselves on the higher plateau here. Rich, a guild not known for playing on trains. Looks as you can see Helm is going to throw the hammer and not going to land the stun. Looks like uh, it looks like Gosu is going to be able to get away. Land a couple of pot shots. Scale comes in, splits the team up a little bit. Train is going to go down, thankfully. Belandis and Ant can't do that by themselves, so the train is going to connect on that bottom side tower. And now you can see JK with the Lorelei. 5, 0, and 2 right now. I told you, Lorelei is a new sweetheart of mine. I really want to learn how to play her a little better. Oh, man. I didn't see that one there. That was a one-for-one one trade. Scale picking up a kill. And a Critics also picking up a kill. And there goes Scale. They're going to jump in on Oliver. There goes the slow Kotun jumping in as well. Oliver's going to get popped. The siege continues. 10-4 to four is the score. Five min uh, 5,000 gold difference right now in favor of Rich. And Scale needs to get out of there. He's taking a little bit of unnecessary damage. A lot of focus being paid attention to here. Belanus is going to get hit. You can see Slaughter slowly trying to get in. Nice ultimate. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Helm going to be silenced there. Kotun trying to go in for the kill. They are all split up now. Rich starting to collapse. Heal does go up. It looks like they may have Belanus. Actino... Nice ultimate there, but look at that. This is a little dangerous. A Critics does manage to pick up the kill. Very risky maneuver there, but it pays off for Slaughters as they manage to bring the kill difference within three. Lorelai trying to take a pot shot there on Actino. Actino a little wise there. Oh, there you go. Oliver, you found her. Get her. Oh, no, this is very dangerous now. Teleport coming in now on Oliver. It's going to be in time. The heal is going to come up, but it's not going to be enough. Kotun's going to be able to pop. Frost Cell and Rich give zero Fs about Slaughter's kill pressure right now. Rich right now is adding so much lane pressure right now. Slaughter's can't even take a second to get over to that top side. As the tower is slowly going down, and it may go down, you can see scales up there, and that's going to be the killing blow for that tower, and they're not going to be able to save it. That's going to be another tower, first tower for Rich. Rich have secured first towers in all three games. And now you see that Slaughters is going to react there. Oh, they could have went for uh, Belandis there. Oh boy, this is very dangerous. Actino getting taken down quite low. They're going to jump on scale. The stun is not going to land. Scale's going to be able to get away. Lorelai's going to try to help peel, but it's not going to be enough. Slaughter's rotating to the bottom side. They're going to want to focus on clearing this wave as this pressure is becoming a little too unbearable. There we go. Helm is going to land the stun. Nope, he won't land the stun. 
fairly easy to evade. Ant's gonna pop the ultimate. Scale's gonna come in, and now here we go for another our another round of team fight. Actino is a little too low to probably engage. Kotun's gonna dive in on Helm. Helm has to charge out of the way. Scale jumps in. Kotun picks off Ant. Slaughters having to peel out there. There goes an ultimate. I'm not sure. I don't think that was Actino's, but Actino's gonna go down. Frost Cell, Lorelei picking up. Uh, excuse me, Frost Cell is gonna be the one to pick up the double kill, and it is going really bad right now as they virtually wipe out the entire Slaughter's roster. Slaughter's is having a real hard time. Kotun dives in on Helm every single engagement. Helm has to... Helm cannot be Helm right now because Kotun dives right in on him and does a ton of damage. See, oh, now he chooses to dive right in on a Critics this time. The heals just aren't enough right now. Lorelai is going to pop out the ultimate. There's so many lasers firing off of Rich's side. Take a look at the items right now. Lorelai's 5, 0, and 6. Kotu 4, 1, and 8. So right now all of Rich is firing. Rich is firing on all cylinders rather. And you can see, man, they're just split up. They're getting split. Rich is doing every, everything right now. Rich is very intimidating with this um, this Wombo Combo. Why wouldn't you still call it Wombo Combo? They just got straight laser light show going on here. Lorelei and Scale. Making this a very difficult situation for, Rich, uh, for Slaughter. Train is immune to that kind of CC. It looks like they're trying to protect the train from going any. I don't think, look at that, Actino's going to be going down. I don't know if he's going to make it out alive. He does, but he's not proving to be any benefit right now. There goes an ultimate. Actino goes down. There's a double kill again for Frozzell. A Critics goes down as well. A triple for Frozzell. A blink fireball to Ant. Lorelei pops Ant. Picks up that kill. And that's going to be the second tower. Slaughters is in a lot of trouble right now. 16 minutes in and Rich are threatening to shut the door on our Season 1 champions. Thank you for the follow, Alaska. Rich is not a trained guild, and here they are. Slaughters, I know for a fact, they live on this map. They love playing here. They can play any map, but they, they love to play trains. And right now, Rich is threatening to make a very bold statement here. That whoever is going to face them is going to have a tough hill. I'm not counting out Slaughters. But right now, they are very impressive. And right now, Rich, on that bottom side... It looks like Rich is finding a lot of success here as Slaughters has played very sloppy here on this bottom lane. There goes the Belanda's ultimate. It looks like Actino closed himself in it. Unfortunately, Frostzell is going to take out Oliver. There's a double kill. A triple. There's our Rampage, boys. Gosu is on fire fire ladies and gentlemen 23 to 8 is the score 18 19 on the clock they make quick work of that oliver's trying to come in with the rest of slaughters can they bring it back slaughters has found themselves in this situation Boy, 
This is intense right now. Looking at Rich, do what they do. Frost Cell, 11, 2, and 4. Longbow, Cutlass, and that thing that gives you 6 trillion attack speed. Balandis, only with the Helm of Divinity. A pair of boots. Kotun with the Longbow. I mean, it's not the items that's making them right now. It really isn't the items that it's make that's making these, these fights. It's this team fight right now. What's going on, Wing? I hope all is well. Twenty-three to eight, nineteen forty-three on the clock. Look at this gold lead: twenty-one thousand gold. Oh, excuse me, twenty thousand gold, rather. They're trying to do some damage. Belandis could just soak up so much. Now he's in range of the tower. Can they come back in time? He pops the helm of divinity. He's going to go down. Atino goes down as well. It's a one-for-one -one trade, but Frost Cell. Picks up another kill. Oh, it's Oliver that picks up a kill, but Ant's going to get the kill on Co Oh my goodness, it's a bloodbath right now. Can they make something happen? There goes another triple. A quadra kill. The second rampage of this match. Thank you for the follow in need to pee. Oh, I need to pee. Haha. <laughs> Funny name. Wow. Rich have come to play right now. 27 to 10 right now. And look at this. They're knocking down this tower as well. Take a look at Gosu right now. Gosu, the MVP of Rich. By far, 15, 2, and 4 right now. Finally completes the King Killer as well. And here we go. Slaughters needs to make it happen right now. Helm is going to go in. Land the slope. But look how much damage Frostel does. Kotun coming in. Gosu gets another kill. Kotun gets a double kill. Helm goes down as well. Kotun coming in. Gets another triple kill. Gosu. 18, 2, and 4. They can't close the distance here right now, the goat of this match. Real tough situation. Helm has just not been able to perform there. There's the next tower going down. Three towers to nothing right now. And Rich are inside the base of Slaughters. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we say here? What do we say? Oh, look at that. A critic's finally picking up a kill. Sneaky, sneaky. The train does, unfortunately, connect with the tower. So, still, even though they picked up that kill, mission success for Rich as now minions are going to continue pouring in on this bottom side. You can see here Slaughters is still not even level 15 yet. Let alone completing any items here. They've been completely shut down. As you can see, Rich is slowly starting to focus here on this top side. Looks like they're going to find Scale. Scale is going to get the heal. He's going to get slowed. Going to get stunned. He might actually go down. Look at that. Gosu catching Oliver off guard. Gets a kill. Look how much damage he does. There goes the teleport. He completely caught Oliver off guard. There goes the speed buff right there. Rich pouring in. Helm running for his dear life. He's going to go down. And now Rich are looking to siege on this top side.
They've cleared pretty much the entire wave. You have the creeps coming in. Looks like they're going to rotate back to the bottom. Nineteen, two, and five. Take a look at scale right there. Scale's doing it big right there. Two, two, and twenty-three. Unbelievable. There goes the Balanda's ultimate. This could be very dangerous. Scale's gonna have to disengage. He has to fly out. They live to see another day, but Gosu gets another double kill, taking out Oliver and Ant. Actino, unfortunately now. Can't do anything here. Another kill streak. Another double kill. And ladies and gentlemen, Rich is putting on the pain. Gosu needs to get out of there. Can he escape? No, he doesn't. That is a huge chunk of gold going over to MTS Amazing. And it looks like now. They're able to create some sort of distraction here. They're still alive. They're not out yet. The Critics has a decent build. Searing Orb, Divine Help, Chain Boots, and Storm Cloak. But the... Rich is threatening to come in again. Another kill there. Another double. Gosu has broken this game. Swag dude, what's up? Unbelievable performance here. Rich have just been peppering both sides here. Scale is going to throw down the laser. Going to slow Ant. Lorelei dangerously low needs to get out same thing with Gosu Gosu needs to get out Slaughter's trying to make a little bit of a push They just don't have enough right now this slow siege they are peppering this inner tower Lorelei is gonna throw her one in there scale is gonna come in land the knock up there goes the ultimate by both Lorelei Excuse me, Lorelai is going to throw down the ultimate herself with Bolanus. Lorelai kills Helm. And now a Critics gets a kill on Bolanus. Lorelai gets a double kill by taking out a Critics. Scale is trying to get out. Rich having a little bit of difficulty closing out the game. But Gosu just, I mean. Stay in there, buddy. Oh my goodness. Rich failed to close the door. Rich failed to close the door on Slaughters and they yet again they live to see another fight. But everybody's down. There's no more respawn runes. Any misplay could be absolutely deadly right now for Slaughter, so. Now is the make or break time. You can see that everybody's kind of... They just can't stop the siege right now. That's the difficult part here. But look at this. Rich not playing together. Lorelai's going to get caught out of position. She's going to get stunned. Scale's going to try to jump in and save. But Slaughter is no longer follows up. This is exactly what Belandis wanted to do. A Critics is going to get the kill, but Lorelai gets to see, live to see another day. There we go. 
Slaughter slowly starting to come back out of the base. Kotun with the tons of damage there jumps right in on Critics. And Critics has no choice but to disengage. There comes the teleport, but it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be in time. There goes the revenge kill. Bolandis a day late. Uh, Actino a day late and a dollar short. And this is the issue, man. They can't even get close to that Frost Cell to lay any sort of damage right now. Here comes the Teleport Scales right back in there. 3v2. Who's going to be the one to win? Actino, can he save it? Actino gets knocked up. Scale. Trying to lock him in. Can they get him? There we go. Oliver picks up a kill. Gosu gets taken out. Mission successful as they shut down Gosu. Look how much gold they got from taking down Gosu. They managed to shrink it down, but they need to be careful. Oliver is still very squishy. Scale decides to jump to that back line. They're going to find Scale. Can he get out? Looks like they're going to take down Scale. But Kotu comes in. The ultimate from Balandis. A Critics taking down Kotun. All of a sudden, Rich in a lot of trouble. Balandis is not going to get taken out. But as a matter of... Oh, the Blood Freeze OP. But Oliver takes down uh, Lorelei there. Needs to be careful. They're not paying attention right now because they're going for this Bolandis kill. They need to go back to base immediately. They managed to pick up the kill. I can't believe what I'm watching right now. Slaughters. <laughs> Slaughters have channeled this immense defense right now. They have they are talking if if the word defense was a god right now, they are speaking directly to it because I don't know how it is that Slaughters is still in this game as down and out. Look, they are shrinking this gold lead. Lorelai is going to land a slow. But this could be the push. This could be the push that they wanted. Here we go. Oliver playing a little. Oh, man. Oliver getting the kill. Look at that. Gosu taken down again. A Critics getting another kill on Kotun. Rich. In full retreat. Teleport coming in. Going for Lorelai. She's going to be in trouble. The ultimate is successful. She's going to go down. Slaughters. Coming back. Unbelievable. Still down 20 kills. They need to go for this tower. They need to just they need to just annihilate this tower. They need to go take it down yesterday. Now they're going to go back. They're going to reset. Unbelievable game 3. Anything is allowed right now. If the back door is real, it's going to happen. At, at this point, I think that's the, the option they need to take if they want to win. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. Rich now going to take Basque. They're going to mount up for looks what seems to be the next final push. Now this is very dangerous for Slaughter. Slaughter needs to get back to base. They need to reassess here. Yeah, they're going back. They're, they're definitely going back. Actino is by himself. Needs to be careful. Lorelai is going to do a lot of damage there. No, excuse me. It is Oliver that picks up another kill. Kotun waiting in the bushes. Has to jump away. Slaughters needs to stay. Not I wouldn't say stay together, but they need to stay close enough to each other. Now you can see that they have their eyes on Gosu. Rich playing around that portal. There you go. 
Looks like they want the target. They found their target. Gosu getting taken down dangerously low. He goes down. Unbelievable. They're coming back. At some point, the gold lead means nothing. Yeah, at some point, yeah, because at some point, as long as it is already oh boy, this is very dangerous right now. This is not the. This is not what they want to do right now. They're getting very comfortable. Look at that. They stopped the port, forced them to go back. Slaughters. Oh no, this is very dangerous. They, he's gonna have to go back. Oliver gonna go. Yeah, they're gonna choose to go back to base. Not worth. Not worth. Get out of there. Unbelievable. What are we watching here for this game three, ladies and gentlemen? Thirty-five minutes into the game, Rich had this in the bag. They got too comfortable. They allowed Gosu to die. And all of a sudden... All of a sudden... Here we go. Actino going right in for it. This is not a good situation here for a very tight space for Slaughters. They need to stay together. Actino is going to be the one to go by himself. Wards are down. Actino trying to draw some sort of attention here. And they are spread very thin right now. They are spread very thin. Can they pull off an upset here? Oliver needs to get a little closer to do something. There we go. Oliver is caught out of position. And this is the gank that Rich needed. They managed to isolate Oliver. Oliver goes down. This is fatal. Absolutely fatal for Slaughters right now. This is such a shame, man. They managed to catch... The Critics is getting a couple of kills, but it's not going to be enough. Look at that. They're not going to be able to protect the train. Everybody virtually gets wiped out there. That is such a perfect pick for Rich. Rich could not have planned that any better. They could not have planned it any better. And that definitely looks like it's going to be GG as the minions are now pouring into the base. Gosu taking care of Ant. There's a double kill for Gosu and that looks like it could be GG as it's only going to take a couple of kills there. And Rich managed to bounce out Slaughters from the tournament. What a game three.